This example is providing us a graph to work with, and based upon that graph, it wants to know which of the following limits that they give us down below here does not exist. The first thing we want to understand is when you're looking at this real quick, you should be able to throw out any one-sided limit as a possible answer. One-sided limits are your left-hand limit. I just call it LHL. That would be something like limit as X approaches some number, and then they put the negative sign up in the exponent there or a right-hand limit. So limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x. These are always really going to have answers as you come through them. You're not going to get a does not exist from one of these situations. So anything that looks like that in your answers, you could really just kind of throw out immediately. So I would say immediately a and d are off the table because those are both left-hand limits. They've got that negative sign up in the exponent there telling us that this is just a left-hand limit. Where we're really going to want to be looking is going to be at our overall limits. So overall limits are the ones where it just says limit as x approaches some number without an exponent on it of f of x. And to find those values, you really have to answer the question, does my left-hand limit, LHL, equal my right-hand limit? Well, if those two things are equal, if those two values are the same, then the overall limit exists and those two things and those two values are what the overall limit will equal. If the answer is no, if the left-hand limit doesn't equal the right-hand limit, that's when we're going to run into the fact that the overall limit DNE does not exist. So for this specific problem, because we want to know when it does not exist, what we're really looking for is this scenario here, where the left-hand limit doesn't equal the right-hand limit. Looking at your graph, you could kind of, you know, sort of bells and whistles should be going off that right here at x equals 4 along that line, you can sort of quickly see that your left-hand limit, as I approach that wall is what I call it from the left direction, I'm heading towards that, that dot right there, whereas if I was following from the right, you can see that I'm headed down this direction. So in that situation at x equals 4, my left-hand limit does not equal my right-hand limit, and that would tell me that the overall limit, DNE, does not exist. So the answer on this one would be limit as x approaches 4 of f of x, that limit does not exist. If we wanted to quickly kind of check the other ones just to see if they, you know, why they do work, this one's saying limit as x approaches 2. Well, if I come over here, I always sort of draw what I call my wall at whatever that x value is. So if I'm drawing my wall at x equals 2, I can see that my left-hand limit approaching that wall from the left, it looks like I'm headed at the wall. I'm going to hit the wall at, at y equals 0. And if I approach that wall from the right, I'm also headed to that same value, y equals 0. So here the overall limit does exist, and that overall limit would equal 0. So that's why that one's not going to work. And then playing the same game down on option E, I'd say, okay, limit as x approaches 6, Again, I draw what I call a wall at x equals 6, and then as I come through and say what are my left-hand and right-hand limits, I can see that, okay, from the left, I don't know exactly what that value is. Maybe it's like negative 4.25, but I can visually see that coming at it also from the right side, I'm also going to get that same value. I'm headed towards this same position right here, say negative 4.25. So again, those two things are equal, so that overall limit would equal negative 4. 0.25, so that limit does exist. And on the one that we said doesn't exist, you know, following that in, you would say, okay, my left-hand limit was equal to 2. My right-hand limit is headed down here towards negative infinity. And so what I can see is that 2 does not equal negative infinity, and so that tells me that my overall limit, DNE, does not exist. So when somebody wants to you to tell them when the limit does not exist, you really can throw out your one-sided limits as an option just to quickly start off with. And then from there, what you're really looking to do is just say, I want to find the situation on my graph where this left-hand limit and this right-hand limit are not coming together at the same place. And that's how I find where the limit does not exist. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.